Good evening. Doing good. I'm, I'm doing awful. You know good. that. I'm sick as I'm. I'm sick, but I'm super. I'm. For tonight, for our viewers, we have another lovely Ultras League Season Six Showcase Practice Race. Um, we've got a good caliber of runners mm -hmm. in here. We've got Jesus the Frog, I Am Gar, Organ Dude, and Y2 Sky. Um, tonight we are showing off the new flag set for Ultras League Season 6, which increased the minimum and maximum number of battles for the Curse Shield from 6 and 14 to 7 and 15. Increased starting lowers from was it 3 to 5? to 6 to 10. Yes, they are. I think a... Steel Gal would be better. Yeah, um, I mean, Capture isn't horrible because he still does have the possibility of doing damage, whereas Steel, if they don't have anything to steal, then he's just kind of dead until he learns some magic. But it looks like we got Organ Dude starting in Thamasa. Uh, Y2 Sky starting in South Figaro. Gar is starting in Narsh. And Jesus the Frog has already made his way to Returners. So we've got a pretty good divergence right here at the beginning of the seed. Oh man, I love it. You know, Gal's a Gal is such an, a a colorful character, um, and uh, like you were just mentioning, uh, the dried meat um, is is usually something you see people try and snatch, uh, pick up pretty quickly. Uh, and, uh, I believe there are, like, uh, other, like, checks in that area that, like, at least are uh, a couple concentrated roundabouts. Yes? Or does Gal only have that one right there? Yeah, and I I like going from Veltrek straight into Serpent Trench, just because Serpent Trench is fixed encounters, and it's a great way to get grind fights while doing a check, and it not take any additional time. Yeah, plus the graphics are super sweet. You know, you got that like uh, kind of like that first person uh, river raft ride. Uh, who doesn't who doesn't love those? Right. Um, and then what's nice about doing the belt check first before doing any sort of grind fights is the only enemy you can encounter is a Lobo, which is a very easy enemy to defeat. Whereas oh, if you puppy. do it later in the seed and run into like Doom Dragons, for example, you can have to fight Doom Dragons on the belt for no experience to try and complete the check. Yeah, Doom Dragons can be a real buzzkill. 
especially when you're not getting anything, but you still get, like, points towards uh, learning spells, though, I believe. I'm not sure about uh, uh, gold, but um, it's something. Another thing important to keep in mind at the Velt is that uh, there are only, like, a few... Ooh, fixed dice! Heck yeah. Um, either heck yeah or oh no, depending who you are. Um, but uh, there are, you know, at, at the at the Velt, there are uh, certain encounters, like counter uh, formations or makeups that uh, do uh, allow you to find that whoever or whatever it is after the fight, and there are some that do not, so... Yeah, pincer attacks and back like, attacks knowledge comes in. will not grant you the reward. Um, and then I think multiple... Or if there's more than four enemies, you won't. Okay. That was Phoenix. Yeah. Phoenix Magicite on the Velt for Organ Dude. And we do have uh we do have life magic, that means something in uh Sea Long Goddess. Um yeah, you know, another thing to keep in mind when you're at the Velt is uh Umaro can be a bit of a bit a bit of a Yeti if he's in your party and you're trying to and you're trying to pick something or something up there. Um or if, you know, because he's essentially berserked or you cannot you cannot control him, so um, you know, I, I ha I've definitely seen it at least once or twice where someone is berserk, got berserk, or whatever, and uh, that wasn't a Yeti, and kind of, you know, shoot away that prize. Um, yep, that is definitely something to not look forward to. I personally love <laughs> the Yeti, and I try to keep him in my party for every seed if I have him. Um, oh, absolutely. Arguably the best character in the game. He is definitely, definitely my favorite. Yeah, dude, Umaro's awesome. You know, I feel like um, uh, they there really are some. Uh, just again, you know, this game, Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy III, whichever, is just so so neat and nuanced and uh, brought you know brought about so many like things to the Final Fantasy universe. Um, and uh, and really speaking, I you know I. It's always such a treat to play, you know, this game and uh, really have any 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 character build. But um, oh, that Amaro, you know, kind of makes you want to go out and defend be befriend a really Eddie. Absolutely, and that was a Sword Tech Steel gal. Nice. So I am going to bet we are going to see Doma Dream here at some point because Doma Dream grants Sword Tech Eight unlock. So that yeah, and great. Sorry, go ahead. Um, Sword Tech 8 is cleave and it is instant death. Mm. And then looks like Gar went straight into Serpent Trench after Wait, getting his is. Magicite. There's that sweet river ride we were we were talking about. Or it's underground. You're not in a river. What do you win? You're in a helmet. Yes, a diver helmet. And then Leet River is the river raft ride. Yeah, that's good. That's right. So speaking of uh, uh, sword tech and steel, um, you know, Gal actually comes with yeah some uh, some some pretty stacked uh, stats. Just generally, I think uh, like a high high vigor. I don't remember his magic power uh, exactly, but I, I think it's uh, usually you know not one of the uh, not one of the ones I, I think I hear people complaining about uh, usually. And also, even steel has some really like kind of like neat niche uh, uses. Um, such as, uh, you know, if you carry them all to the final tier, uh, I, I believe you can uh, uh, a snake a Megalixer off off of Kepka. 
Um, there's uh, Inferno. Is it Inferno or is it Air Force that each of the targets has uh, uh, an elemental shield? Um, so there, real, there, there are. It's, 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 it's not nothing. And when, when you have it with Sword Tech, you know that's that uh, certainly uh, kind of uh, colors the rest of his actions uh, pretty well. It was a Toronto Esper from the Zen Thief that Jesus the Frog went back for after getting his Phoenix off of the Velt. So, in the World of Balance, we saw a couple runners check with the Thief, and it was revealed that it is an Esper. Um, that is the only place you can check before making the purchase, if it's an Esper or if it's a dead check. In world of ruin he just gives you the price and says give me this amount for this item whereas in world of balance he will say give me this price for this glowing stone and i know in world of balance it was close to 50k and did not see what it was in world of ruin and i believe like the top oh you know look here at the, there's a dragon horn um genji something a flame shield even noise blaster can have its uses um, but, um, and I believe as you were just talking about the Zen, T Zen Thief, um, and its cost, uh, I, 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 I think what is, uh, the cap, the cap cost is, uh, 60, 62, something, something in that bracket, um, you know, something around there. And that is a stray cat in the Serpent Trench. <laughs> Good Classic. To find someone with rage. And that's a Blitz Realm and a Magitek Cyan. Oh, so we've got some is, uh, solid abilities starting you out. You might even say they are pretty juicy. They are juicy abilities. Uh, yeah, so why is Stray Cat so good? Uh, Stray Cat's Rage is Cat Scratch, which does four times damage. Um, and that can also be combined with Fixed Dice. And it cuts down the animation time on fixed dice, but it still does four times damage. And then if you multiple or if you have an offering as well, it'll do cat scratch four times if it chooses cat scratch, or it'll just attack four times. But cat scratch is one of the higher tier rages due to the damage output. Fixed dice is yeah. all based on RNG and fancy multiplication. Of what the dice say um so even a low roll like if you hit a low roll for 500 but it's with cat scratch then it's 2000 and organ dude just wiped to a few bombs now that was a pretty serious that was a pretty serious exhibition of maths by knuckly kong uh and i'm only half kidding because uh you know uh i'm i'm just i'm just the worst at it um we're gonna say something else, but must not have been that funny or that cool. <laughs> Looks like Y2 Sky is taking some grind fights outside of the Coliseum. Yeah, and we did see a couple, uh, couple, 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 couple things there that uh, I might want to pick up. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, speaking of Y2 SKY, uh, not to be, or I don't know, maybe to be confused with Y2K. You know, it's getting, we're getting, we're only getting closer to the year 3000. Uh, I did see Y2SKY uh, come across a slurm, which if any of you watch Futurama know that is actually um, uh, a, a, uh, a, lovable, a, a lovable alien out of Futurama. Uh, party slurm. Uh, don't do slurm, everybody. Oh, it looks Ooh, like we reach pods. They give, a lot of, they, give, they give a lot of money, don't they? Reach frogs do give a lot of money, I believe. It's like real frogs, but they're also pretty jumpy. Yes, I know it's cactars like give a lot of money as well. So you know, I feel like we like... just don't see cactars enough. Right, it looks like the bombs were a grind fight outside of... Doma Siege, and that was met with a spicy chicken, which Gar reset out of. I'm willing to bet he is going to come back and attempt that at a later time. Yes, uh, funny enough, I actually had a 
spiky, spicy, crispy chicken sandwich from KFC for breakfast. So I don't know if you all call that a commentator's curse or just clairvoyance or foresight, but there you have it, folks. Spicy chicken also sandwich. Usually... It's good. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I was just saying spicy chicken sandwiches are always good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's funny because I, I, I live here in China and um, one of my, a couple of my uh, Chinese like co-teachers, like uh, was a few weeks ago, uh, asked me because they have KFC all over here. It's uh, it's really big. Um, and they they asked me, they're like, hey, hey, Juicy, um, you know, we've heard that uh, KFC in America doesn't have chicken. Is that true? Um, and, you know, it was, well, you've all heard me laugh uh, out loud. Uh, it's pretty much uh, uh, how, it, how, how, it, how it ended up. Um, also, you know, we got about 15, we're, we're about at the 15 minute mark. You know, usually you're going to see racers um, the first five, ten minutes. There will be a fair amount of looting. Uh, there are some real hot spots and cool places, some, some places where all the cool kids go to loot, uh, usually at the beginning of the game. Um, I myself have never run uh, one of these. Uh, I'm, uh, at this point, purely vanilla when it comes to playing this game. Um, but what do you think, Nugly Kong? Where, when, uh, what do you think? you think? I think we're starting to see more, maybe more checks. We got a dragon come up. Um, we are seeing more checks. How do, you, um, how do you navigate that when you're doing one of these runs? Like, like balance out, like, when you know when to stop looting, when you know when to start getting checks? Um, um so okay. my, my typical loot, um, I, I normally start in Narsh because that's where you start at the beginning of the game. And then there's uh, there's the Lone Wolf Room, which is pretty treasure dense. Um, the classroom does take a little bit of time to loot, but it's not horrible. <clears throat> After that, I will hit Returners on the way to South Figaro. Um, and in my experience lately, Returners is either really good loot or really bad loot. There's not an in-between. Um, Would you say it's the luck of the coral? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I've had seeds where there were Illuminas in chests in Returners, and then I've had seeds where the chests were just empty. Or so. it's actually just a, uh, just a big old, uh, it's just a, just a, just a monkey paw giving you, giving you that middle finger. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and, and South um, Figaro oh, sorry. Is go ahead. South, South Figaro is a good place to loot as well. Because you can do it twice? You yeah. You can do the outside twice. The inside you can only do once, but I believe the inside is the same whether you're in World of Balance or World of Ruin. So you might even say South Figaro is juicier loot. It is. Uh, and it. <laughs> Like Oregon has found his fourth character. I believe he is the first one on the board to find a fourth character. Tara is sitting at the top of the mountain in Narsh. Not sure if I would go after this right now with only three characters because you do have to divide your party. Um, okay. It looks like that's what he may be doing. Gonna run Cyan and Gal and put Realm off to the side. And then Y2 Sky met the spicy chicken and unfortunately met a reset there as well. Gar. Spicy FFs for Y2 Sky, everybody. Mount Zozo check, which rewarded him another Esper. Have we? I don't, you know, I've, I know, I know, I saw Jesus the Frog at least equip one or check one. Uh, he, he, he sped by that Phoenix Esper, but sped a little too speedy for me to see anything that was on it. I do think that there was some kind of step uh, plus, which um, uh, you know, I guess I'm not sure exactly the configuration or the randomization of espers in in this flag set. Um, I I would take a guess that uh, the spells themselves are randomized as well as, or per, perhaps also the, the rate at which you learn them, as yeah. well as also some will have stat uh, bonuses when you, when you level up something like Magic plus one or two, uh, bigger plus one or two, or if you're really lucky, a vigor uh, plus, or not a vigor but a stamina rather, because um, you don't want to leave your house, your, don't leave home without your sta stamina in the in the world of ruin. Um, uh, some of the status effects are not great when you get stamina plus, um, like the yeah. condemn countdown. 
Yep, which is real cheeky, real cheeky. And I believe it even, like I think, you know, like it doesn't it like lessen the damage you would take from poison, but hasten, uh, yeah, you know, like that condemn, condemn ticker that's above your head, uh, which is just really, uh, you know, I have to imagine whoever was pro game, pro programming that for the first time was, was something of a stinker. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, you heard it here, folks. Now Jesus the Frog is going to take his stab at the at the uh, spicy chicken, and what we're going to do just to Jesus's right uh, encountered uh, an Atma of one or the other sort, either Atma or Apple Weapon. I didn't catch it. Mm. It was Toilet Atma. Toilet. Why do we call him Toilet Atma? I'm going to tell you what. For the first couple months when I was watching these races. I did not understand the reference, and then finally someone mentioned it, or I was just paying attention to what I was seeing, uh, and uh, I can't remember which, but why do they call that Atma, Atma weapon? Or toilet uh, Atma, I mean. He is found in Kafka's tower in what looks like a bathroom. Yep. Yep. So. And you know what, people? It's kind of funny. You just, uh, you know, if you ever watch uh, TV or movies, you know real bad drinking game would be count the number of times people you'd see a toilet or see someone go to the bathroom uh final fantasy 6 uh is uh oh. keeps it real like that there are bathrooms and they just like real life they do have monsters in them so it looks like jesus the frog is having a much better time with spicy chicken he does have bio which is one of Spicy Chicken's weaknesses, and he also has Stop, which Spicy Chicken is susceptible to. Not that chicken. Not so, that chicken. in my most recent race, um, the only thing I had to go up against Spicy Chicken was Ice, which you would think he's weak to Ice, but he is mm -hmm. not. He is weak to Poison and Pearl. Yep, absolutely. And, you know, again, it's, it's real cheeky because there are so many mobs enemies in this game that are like color coded or uh in some way um kind of exhibit or display what their powers or weaknesses are uh however there are a couple that uh and hey i'm gonna say it again so if this is uh, yeah it, it is it, so a couple of them are real cheeky about it uh such as uh poltergeist as well as what is it Dullahan. and uh i was watching a race yesterday where schwanz always loves to talk about Dullahan. And I always love to talk about Schwanz because he's just a fun, fun to listen to. I will, I would like to say, um, you know, uh, white sheets also do not have legs, but they, they do, they do fly when they are haunted. So, bam. That Anyways, how about true. this one? Uh, so Jesus Frog made it through Spicy Chicken, and we see Gar picking up Shadow from Owser's Mansion. Oh, Gar. Gar, go, Gar. Go, oh, Gar, go. Um, but, you know, I, I, I don't think that we saw a reset or a, a death to uh, Poltergeist on Jesus's, uh, in Jesus's encounter. If I remember correctly, we did see one in Y2SKYs. Um, I'm curious uh, about the, the, this flag set, this, this, uh, this seed as it uh, relates to or compares to, uh, for example, the goddess, stat or the god statue flag sets that we were just uh, that just ended recently. Um, they have, you know, in 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 some of those uh, flag sets, depending on the the the, god, the the statue, there are they they tend to be either more uh, uh, magically offensive or uh, big stickly offensive. Um, so, what's your what's your what's your take, or can you break it down here? Um, is it just kind of a free for all in in this flag set, or um, how do you how do you how do you see it? Uh, in this flag set, it's real nice because there's not spells that are removed like there was in the Warring mm -hmm. Triads events. Um, you also don't get stat boosts or stat decreases at the beginning of the match. Um, oh, okay. And that's, that's what the big thing with the Warring Triads was. Like, the Doom's Rage was minus magic power at the start of the seed, so it was more physical offense-based. Okay, and also I believe it, you know, it... it, it... Uh, also matters uh, uh, what the dead checks, what dead, ch what 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 dead checks uh, provide you with, and some of those it could only be like armors or like a mega elixir, 
in some of those it could be only weapons or um, I believe there were even like uh, things like a couple relics like the off like like offering uh, that you could also pick up in one of those. What are the what's available? I'm not sure if you mentioned it already, but you have to give me a uh, might have to give me a couple freebies because I am sick in bed. Um, but uh, what are yes. the what's available for the dead checks uh, here today? Uh, dead checks and miss is a mix of pretty much everything that was in the warring triads flag set. The Poltergeist Fury flag set was focused on, like, relic rewards, so you could get offerings and Genji Glove or Marble Shoes and Experience Eggs. Uh, Goddess was focused on defensive items, so armors and shields, and then Doom's Rage was big weapons, so you could get Illuminas, Valiant Knives, Ragnaroks, Atma Weapons, stuff like that because Doom's Rage was more based on physical offense um, so you get a mix of just about everything in the Altros League for dead checks oh fun it's a big uh, it's a big exciting salad that we have here today and, uh, and speaking of equipment I have seen on, on uh, spanning a few of these screens here uh, hero rings earrings for sale in relic shops I just saw Jesus out again I don't know if it was already mentioned Jesus just picked up uh, a gauntlet on the um, in, in on the train in in the dream in the dream train, in the phantom dream, however you want to call it. Um, so uh, a fair, yeah, a nice little mix of like you were just describing, uh, both physical and uh, magical um, uh, oriented items. Yes. Okay. Yep. And Jesus the Frog and Gar are both making their way through the. Cyan's dream, whereas Organ Dude is in Owser's mansion, and we know that is going to get him a shadow. Oh, shadow! Everyone's favorite deadbeat dad. But also, if dad, you are out there in chat watching this right now, hey, you're you're the opposite. I love you. Thanks for being here. If you are, and uh, we'll sit down and have a chat uh, about this afterwards. If you are not also like to real quickly shout out, um, you know, I have some just like fantastic, I'm, I'm just such an anxious person and socially, uh, you know, uh, at times very other. And this community that we have here at Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide uh, has been uh, so welcoming, has been a safe place for me, has been so encouraging, supportive. Uh, there are people here, so many people that want to know, uh, know you, want to help you, want to get you started uh, on your Final Fantasy VI uh, uh World's Collide Randomizer Journey. Um, I'd also like to just real quick say hey -o to uh, my best buddy, Lyle, a co-worker of mine who, again, has been super supportive. I think he's been here for all of my all of my commentations. And um, just just a real, real... I don't care what anyone says about him. He's a, he's a cool guy. Yeah, the Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide community is just fantastic. We do have a mentor program for the people who are interested in joining but don't know where to start. The mentor program is great. You get paired up with a seasoned runner and they can either do a live mentor session or you can give them a video of recording of one of your runs and they can go through it with you and give you pointers on what route to take and what they see you do that can be improved upon i personally yeah, have not absolutely. taken part in a mentor session but that being said even without signing up for a mentor session there are wonderful runners that will watch a restream or just pop into your stream when you're just playing on your own and give you pointers and like hey this is what i would do differently um actually our other commentator oh, really, really constructive and supportive yes our other commentator drinks glue i was watching one of his races or one of his streams earlier and after he finished he was like hey this is something that i typically try to do so pay attention to that when you start Altros League Season 6, because I did sign up for it, and I am starting in the Tonic Division. Heck yeah, good for you, man. That's exciting. And that's, uh, how, that's how, are, you, are you nervous? Are you scared? 
Or just drink, um, or just drink glue. Have you drinking glue? I'm I'm not nervous about it. I'm excited. Um, I've been playing for a while now. I got into it towards the end of season five, and then I did participate in the Warring Triads event. So it's it's not new to me. Um, but that being said, there are spots for new people and we always love when more people sign up yeah absolutely so if you got a friend out there or even someone you just don't even really hate too much uh but you know likes uh might be interested pass it along you know this is a uh, let's keep this uh budding community ever budding um it's it's uh for me it's been really a wonderful experience and especially that you know because i live in china uh especially especially during the pandemic when i wasn't allowed to uh visit my home back in Iowa, let alone like, you know, leave my, leave my house really. Um, it's really been uh, something that's uh, been important to me, meant a lot to me. And um, they're uh, the people that I have, when I finally reached out, there are people here who understand that. And uh, it's just been, just been super awesome. Real quick, we see Gar here taking a monster in the box, uh, not finding the Katana Soul that probably they were looking for, uh, because you can, you can, uh, I don't know if what you steal off of Katana Soul. I know that Katana Soul does at, uh, drop an offering as well as a fat sack of change. Um, but I also believe it was either on Jesus' screen or Gar's screen. I did catch a Strength Plus 2 Esper flying around somewhere. Uh, and on Jesus' I did see an Enhancer, uh, which does, I think, boost you a plus 7 on your magic stats. Uh, which yes, uh, seven can really go a long way. Yeah. Uh, and that's Ultima on Torado, which is the Esper you get from the Thief. And to yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you about that because you'd mentioned that all spells were available, and I, I wasn't sure if that that did include the blue bubble or the blue button, as DNA likes to call it, or some some people like to refer to it as. Um, it but it will only ever be available button. at times one percent, so you can never. Uh, whereas some spells, you can you can learn them off of of, of a single dragon fight. With Ultima, you're going to have to fight at least two dragons. Yes. Yeah, but two dragons for Ultima is not bad, um, because you also get the levels that go along with the dragons. Plus whatever they drop in the vanilla game, plus uh, whatever high-tier item uh, they afford you in this randomizer, which again, it could be, I guess, it, in this in this flag set, it could really be... Uh, just about anything, save a bottle of coke. Wouldn't that be nice? Very true. Uh, Jesus the Frog here, taking on his Altros in Hauser's Mansion. Gonna grab his shadow after this quick, quick fight. Um, looks yes. like Realm on, for him, already knows Fire 3. So that is a very high-powered spell. And what might some of the seasoned runners, as you called them, what might some of them refer to Realm as? Uh, murder AKA child. AKA what? Murder <laughs> child. She is, she is a child murderer. Yeah, yeah she, she can be you know, really murderous, um, which generally, most of the times, not cool uh, in this instance. So cool. And why is that? Stamina stat? Um, she has normally a really high magic stat um, yep. and then I think she's also the one that sets the blaze in Thamasa uh yeah you know they you always it's like a it's like a whole saying you know don't let your kids run with scissors uh but you know don't let your um realms run with matchbooks Oh man, I'm trying not to laugh too much because it just makes me cough. Um, but I digress. We see here Gar going after his spicy chicken. Uh, looks like he's gonna he's he's uh, salivating for some spicy crispy chicken as well. Um, yeah, we got Jesus yeah, I'm not the Frog. Sure if I... okay, sorry, go ahead. Uh, Jesus the Frog going into Cave on the Belt, which is a shadow check, and it's also peekable. So what does peekable mean? Uh, with this check, when he gets towards the end of it, there will be one of three things laying on the ground next to Interceptor. It will be a Magisite, a NPC Sprite, or a Character Sprite. If it's an NPC Sprite, it's a dead check. 
If it's a character, it's the character that's laying on the ground. And if it's a Magisite, it's a Magisite. This one we see an Imp Sprite, I believe, and that is a dead check. So he is going to warp out to keep his check count low. Yeah, which is, uh, like you were just saying, uh, sometimes you'll see a, a racer, um, uh, after having peaked that check, might just nope right out of there, reset, because it, uh, it will it will affect your scaling. Um, hey, for all of those out there who maybe don't like like you, Dad, uh, hey, Dad, um, what does what does scaling mean? What is how do checks affect that? Um, um I don't know. I don't think checks affect scaling in this particular flag set. I think scaling oh. here is based off of character Esper Dragon Count, and it is multiplied by two and a half. Um, in the Warring Triads event, the checks affected scaling. Oh, okay. Uh, Okay. Yeah, absolutely, and you know that's something that you know, like at the beginning of the at the outset of this race, we were talking. Knuckly Talk Kong was talking a little bit about uh, taking some grind fights, and um, you know, uh, doing things like that to uh, kind of uh, surpass that that scaling, so that you're not you know running into some uh, level forty Vargas uh, when you're at level three. Um, that's that's just one of the uh, non-zero, non-infinity. Uh, kind of like uh, aspects or considerations that all of these racers uh, here today uh, are uh, keeping in mind, which is, for in, in my eyes, is super impressive because this game is complex, it is deep, it is wide, it is uh, so many things, so many interactions. So uh, what we're seeing here is really, really, uh, really awesome. Y2 Sky is on his way to Floating Continent and found Doom as oh, the Doom. boss there. So we have seen Doom and we have seen Poltergeist out of the three statues that are normally the gatekeeper to final Kefka in the vanilla game. Um, Spicy Chicken was attacking Doma and Doom was just floating around in the sky. Now we have Ultros 2 or Ultros 3. I know it's not Ultros 4, as the second boss going to Floating Continent. Yeah, and if it's, uh, I don't believe it's four because there's not room at his backside or their backside for uh, uh, Chupon, everyone's favorite double-headed monster cloud. Um, I do think at the end of the fight, like you can, you can, you can hindsight 2020 it. Um, I believe like the first Ultros will give you 10 GP, second one 20, third one 30, and um, last one. I don't remember. I would presume 40, but more importantly, uh, no no experience with that fight. Um, I don't think you get any rewards from the Ultros 4 fight, because you don't complete it. Uh, Chupon uh, sneezes you away. Never easy, Chupon. Um, and again, real quick, I know I've been a little bit distract. I've been a little distractful talking about this, that, and the other. Um, but uh, as Knuckly Kong was talking about just a, just a few minutes ago, um, you know, we, we've seen Poltergeist, we've seen uh, Doom, and that can, uh, you know, just to mention here now, I won't go into it too much because we'll get there when we get there, but, you know, that can, that definitely uh, uh, will affect or uh, play, play a part in how you formulate your three, your split three ways party uh, advancing on Kefka's Tower at the end. Um, because I do not believe that any of these bosses can, uh, can appear twice. I don't think so. Correct. I don't think you can get repeat bosses in Ultros League. So, two of the three statues are already gone, but we have not yet seen Magimaster or Doomgaze. I think we have seen, we have seen Magimaster. I, for, uh, I forget who it was, but there is also the Budgie Master who... Yeah. Uh, like the masquerade was... or cosplay as Magimaster, but I thought maybe we did, but I sometimes think wrong, so. 
I think Maybe it was Jack discount Magic Master. I know we saw number 24. Yep. Um, but then there's also Guardian, and Guardian is just a tank of a boss. It's got a crazy amount yeah. of HP. Yep. Which, you know, it's like, even though, like, maybe isn't the most uh, nerve-wracking offensively, again, uh, there are some of these um, uh, bosses that uh, you might not think twice on, uh, just as, like, no normal goings-on. But again, you know, there are some checks, and there's also the final Kafka Tower, uh, where you have to split your race, and most likely you're not leveling up all the characters that you find. So, um, you know, something that normally isn't, uh isn't much of a bruiser uh, outside of the tower can really uh, be, be, be a mega bruiser inside the tower. Very true. Um, my, my favorite bosses to run into at the statue spots are Leader, Ultra <laughs> 1, <laughs> and Tunnel Armor. <laughs> Those are always just great to find at endgame because you've got no worries there. Yep, and I'm just going to go ahead and bet my bottom chat dollar that that's what we're going to see. Unless we've already seen Ultros 1, then one of the others. <laughs> Let's Ultros do the opposite. Ultros 1 was at uh, Albert's Mansion. Cool, oh, cool. And here on the bottom right with Y2SKY, uh, again, some of the mobs are very much like coded as far as like what they're wearing, what they look like, uh, their colors. Um, and that is the case, I believe, for uh, the, the Stooges, Larry, Mo, and Curly. Um, and even, so I believe, uh, what is it, the little blue dude is, uh, is weak to fire. Uh, yep. The yellow one with wings we, is, is lightning oriented. I guess I don't know what is that water that they're weak to. And the one that was killed first, the one that likes to heal every all their buddies up, is uh, weak to ice or... Uh, yes. Sure. yes, he is fire, so he would be weak to ice. Um, I believe if you have... Yeah, I was going to say, if you have someone that's throwing, water screens work good for it, too. Or water edge. Yeah, it's and you know, or edge. like aqua lake. Uh, you know, you don't see a whole... Uh, 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 water and wind are both uh, kind of like lesser elementals, or less uh, uh, not represented as, you know, the fire, lightning, and ice are. Um, so those that can uh, that can uh, be a hurdle at times because you uh, either do not have that weakness available for you in the form of a water skiing or water edge, or you know I, I guess I'm not sure what which I know there are a couple uh, uh, defensive gear items that do protect you against like things like wind and water, but not nearly as many as the other uh, like uh, dominant three elements. Very true. Yes. Do. Uh, you can go to ultrosleague.com for the signups, or you can join our Discord, which is FF6 Worlds Collide Discord. Um, the Discord link you can find on our currently in our chat on Twitch or from the ff6worldscollide.com website. Yeah, absolutely. Or even if you're someone who has a very wonderful heart, you could always try following that. Um, but um, yeah, exactly. You know that the Discord uh, Final Fantasy Six Worlds Collide, which is you know how I. Uh, someone who is very um, uh, interwebs illiterate, even I was able to uh, locate it, and it wasn't hard. Um, and and again, you know, we just saw Drinks Drinks Blue chime in right there. Um, just before this race, he was saying, "Hey, little Juicy Loot, uh, you know, if you're a new guy, you're sick, um, uh, your cats aren't giving you enough attention, but nevertheless, you know, I'm still here in the in the background, and will." Uh, will will be available to help you out with this comment uh, with this commentary. So I just I guess I just can't say it enough, or maybe I can, but uh, I do I do love a good rant. No, there's there are so many members of this community that are just not afraid to lend a hand 
Um, even for stuff that's not Worlds Collide related. Um, me personally, Absolutely. I was doing something for school and I said, hey, does anyone have way or any advice or study tips for this? And there was someone in the community, it was actually Drinks Glue. I was like, here you go. This is what I used. And it's just, it's great. Aww. Everyone here Aww. is very open to Aww. helping. Uh, and then if you're just bored and don't want to run a seed by yourself, there's <laughs> always someone that is open to racing. So race just yes. for fun. And there's there's someone here for it. Yes, because, you know, if you found your way here, then you have also found uh, people who um, uh, who uh, also find, found their way uh, way here, whether they sought it out or not. And, um, you know, there's, uh, we all, I think a lot of us have very, uh, you know, like, uh, um, you know, like meaningful sentiments or like childhood memories uh, uh, related to this game. And, um, you know, you know, my, I'll tell you what, my coworkers, they... Uh, you know, they don't know, they don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about Final Fantasy VI. Uh, and so that puts a little bit of a stunt on that conversation, but hey, here, we'll give us all your Final Fantasy VI, uh, memes, give us all your, uh, your, your quirks, your, your questions, your, uh, guidance, whatever. We're here for you. So, Shadow's free check at Gow Manor led to an offering. It was a dead check, but it was a grateful reward from the dead check. Heck yeah! And you know, it's it's especially if you're if you're thinking to yourself, you know what, my attack animations just aren't taking long enough. Um, even with this fixed dice, uh, well, there you Let's go. You got an offering. Time. Which again is something to consider because fixed dice can be so powerful. Um, they can, uh, early on, mid-game, late-game, they can really, maybe a little less late-game in most in, uh, most situations, um, but, uh, you, you know, it's not that, it's not that uncommon, not that rare to see a race, uh, come down to mere seconds, or even there's one time I saw it come down to a second, so, um, that's something to, uh, take, in, take, take into mind, uh, when you are, uh, when you got those dice and, and or that offering. Yes, um, actually there was a little async race, and me and the Schwantz finished with the exact same time. Whoa. So it was, it was just a fun race, and we ran it at separate times, but we, we did finish at the same time, which was interesting. Which is super cool, and, and really shouldn't, shouldn't doesn't doesn't speak to the um, the fact that this game is very limited and there are only so many like paths you can take and things you can use um, that's 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 uh, quite the opposite because it's so intricate so even more so you know when you when when, that, when something like that happens boy oh boy is that exciting just really just so much fun to watch yep there is usually more than one way to go through a seed um. And it's like the way this seed started. We've got four different runners, and they each took a different path at the beginning of the seed. And I just, I love seeing the different play styles and the divergence in routes from the different runners. Absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, you know, that's even with only, what did we have, two or three character starting characters? And uh, none of which were uh, Sabin, who has, you know, like the most checks available, I believe. Uh, so even 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 here today, you know, we still got um, we still got a lot of like diversity or divergence in this uh, with these runners and with their uh, with their races thus far. Um, speaking of which, uh, we have Jesus the Frog at uh, four eight one, Organ Dude at four five one, Gar at four eight one, and Y Y two S K Y at four five zero, uh, Knuckly Kong or or Drinks uh, Glue. Or anybody out there in chat, um, how do you feel about um, uh, each of these races, like placement in uh, in this race? You know, is there somebody winning? Is there somebody losing? Um, curious what y'all's take on that. On that is, um, I'm terrible at baseball.
good. Add Kefka and Arsh. Ooh. Side with Oregon right now is he may try to run through the other checks that he has available. Mm -hmm. um, like right now, Jesus the Frog looking at his tracker, the checks that he has available is Tritok, which we know won't be a character ever, Cave on the Belt, which he knows is dead, and Kefka at Nars. Yep. And then I am R is oh. currently finishing. Kefka and Nars. Absolutely. And real quick here on the bottom right with Y2SKY, just uh, very wisely noped out of that uh, two ninja, one dancer uh, conundrum because uh, they like to throw things and just be real, uh, real, real nasty. Um, but, you know, and again, I would just say there's, again, like I said before, uh, it's, it, you know, at any, you know, these, um, uh, it's so hard. It can be really difficult to uh, take the pulse or gauge where uh, where those rankings are in any given race uh, Due to you know, like you can do absolutely everything right um, Everything you do could be a hundred percent logical and reasonable and still uh, hit that roadblock after roadblock after roadblock or uh, you know Man, there is a real hard to watch just a real uh, 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 um, uh, I think it was the last one I commentated where uh, the racer uh, didn't save um, uh, after a couple checks, one or two checks, then uh, uh, wiped to some monster, I believe, at the uh, here at Kefka at Narsh, and was sent back, you know, like six or seven minutes. Um, Lost so the good it, save, boss. Uh, always be saving. What is it, like, menu when you save and save when you menu? Something along those lines? I'm, I'm working on getting to the point where I'm only opening the menu when I am at a save point. Cool. Cool, yeah, because, you know, like, it's it's that menu boss. It's, like, the menu boss and uh, the uh, um, the bridge troll, those two, uh, those two stinkers um, that can uh, uh, really kind of um, set you back or be hard to, like, walk away from or w hard to walk by. Um, get get past uh, you, you know we even for the first like five or ten minutes you know I, I was also trying to commentate and keep track of or look at four different uh, races at the same time but you know it's not uncommon to see you know P, uh, r racers not check out the Esper that they just picked up because or not equip the Illumina they just picked up because they'll do it when they get to that save point or when they get to that point in their race where they need to uh, take a moment and, and and take care of all those things so absolutely which can really explode your explode your brain, um, and is also you know something that uh, uh, keeping like a level head, not getting tilt, not throwing your controller, uh, uh, not cursing the the god or the gods. Um, that that's uh, but you know being being keeping that level head, that 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 uh, uh, that that clarity of mind um, can can push through, can really help you push through some of those uh, time losses or some of those hurdles or burdens. Yes. Um, and now in the bottom left, we see Gar going to Mobliz and World of Ruin, which is a peekable check, but he is just going for it. Um, if you go in the other house and go in the basement, you can talk to the child and she will let you know if it's a character or an Esper. And right now we are character hunting. Oh, gar go. So, Mobile. Get our guesses out there. Who have we? Who character. have we not seen yet that we that we stand the chance that our racers stand the chance of running into? Who are the characters uh, uh, here here now uh, here and now race uh, chat that you might that you'd want to see or that you wouldn't want to see? Or are you knuckle calling? Like what? What's? Um, how about um, you? Me personally, I would love to see Yeti. 
Um, not many people would. Um, but also another another good character to find would be um, really any of them. Sabin is good, but we already have someone with Blitz. If we get that user to level 42, we can get Bum Rush. Um, we don't need Cyan. We've already got him and someone with Sword Tech. And Sword Tech 8 is online. Um, Celeste would be good if we found her earlier in the seed because we do have a Magitek user and completing the Magitek facility will get full Magitek online. Absolutely, uh, as well as so is having, I think, the the best or the whitest uh, equip pool of any of any character. Very true. Um, and right now we've got, I mean, most of these runners already have their party set for end game. So whatever character they find probably isn't going to make it into the party. Yeah. How what? do you feel about um, about the uh, our players' uh, uh, offensive uh, uh, capabilities at the moment? Um, is there anyone that's looking uh, real strong? You know what I always love to see as a, as a spectator, as an audience member. I love seeing racers do those real cheeky checks, even like or, you know, like getting that real far away single barrel uh, in South uh, South Figaro, or maybe there's like was it Thamasa or some of these other towns that are real out of the way and don't really offer anything um, towards like your tech count. Uh, but, uh, you know, these are opportunities or things that our racers can do to, um, you know, maybe find something that's awesome that uh, nobody else will find because it's either outside the logic or it's just, um, uh, you know, too, too, too far out, uh, too, too out of, uh, out of the way. Um, so yeah, how do you feel about their their offensive uh, standpoints? Ooh, a Ragnarok. Oh, the Esper. How do you feel about what what they got going on right now? Uh, honestly, I think most of them have good offense. Um, looks like we got fixed dice offering on Realm mm -hmm. for Y two Sky. Um. And then it looked like it was fixed dice at my weapon on Shadow for Organ Dude. Awesome. And that at my weapon um, is, uh, you know, uh, um, I believe in the vanilla game, um, it, it really didn't come online until you reached a certain level because it's affected by well, your level or your HP pool or some stats that um, you uh, that, um, affect it in such a way where. Um, you you can't really be swinging it to uh, to to worthwhile or full effect until you reach those higher levels. Now there was like a, a, a they they patched that or reworked it a year or two ago for these randomizers where um, Atma weapon can uh, really start uh, uh, lightsabering around level 30, 32, something like that. Yes, um, and then of course the higher vigor and higher HP, the more damage you do. Um, the higher HP is nice because the the more HP you have, the longer you will do more damage. Um, so I've I've had instances where my character swinging the Atma weapon got down to like half health and was still swinging for between four and five thousand per swing. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, there are strategies Sabin. that you... Oh, we have uh, Jesus the Frog taking, uh, taking, taking a quick look at... Um, Jesus the Frog is tower. in go mode. In go mode. And he was at the top of the tower in Mount Sozo, and that also puts Gar in go mode. Go, Gar, go. Gar, go, Gar. Um... And so here with Kafka's tower, now that we're finally here, we can finally start uh, chiming up about it. Uh, you do have to separate uh, in your 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 uh, party pool into three three pools of parties. Um, each of these uh, paths, these these parties will encounter um, uh, their own their own bosses. Um, I, I forget which one. One of them has like more bosses, so you want to maybe uh, stack that that group. Uh, a little, a little more heavily, um, and then there's also something else to consider: is the Kefka Tower skip, which if you achieve, 
again, I'm sorry. Once again, I, I should have done my homework before before uh, coming online. So I'm not sure what the count is, what the requirement is for Kefka Tower Skip. But usually oh, there is like if you go if you get like a few extra uh, party members or or a few extra espers, or if you get like a certain uh, like a quotient or, or, or a number of checks, then you essentially skip right to those three final bosses, which can I think on average save you on like a uninterrupted or normal run uh, race through the climb and the tower can save you know five six minutes, which is colossal. So in Altros League, the skip requirements is one of three, either nine characters, 12 espers, or 22 checks, which is new in season, or different in season six compared to season five. Season five skip requirements were still one of three, nine characters, 12 espers, or 21 checks. So the chip count, go ahead. Yes. Awesome. So, he is there are a couple of... checks available in the actual tower itself. So if you're sitting at 20 checks, you need those two extras to get uh, to catapult yourself to get that skip. Um, you can go in with that party who like there's like a dragon that counts as a check, I, I think. And there's also that, um, that infamous uh, uh, toilet dragon and toilet, and toilet and, atma. Yeah, yeah. All so you can go in there. You could, you could you could knock them off. Uh, warp back out and then jump yourself straight to that to those those statues. Yeah, but you know, if you're, he does if you're still coming, have. Sorry, go ahead. He's gonna go to no. I was thinking he would go to World of Ruin Narsh, take out the dragon and Tritox spot. But it looks like he's just gonna dive into the tower, take out the Atma weapon and Center Dragon. And he dive. will warp out. He's going to get the experience for his full party and then go right back into switches mm. and have a good fight from there. Absolutely. And, you know, even with just the dragon uh, that is um, <clears throat> roosting in uh, the Kefka's Tower, uh, those dragons are just, uh, you know what they call humans, big, uh, big meat sacks or sacks of water. Uh, dragons in this universe are big old sacks of experience and uh, magic. So um, that goes, especially when you can combo with something like an experience egg or uh, you need, you know, that uh, last 50 uh, uh, magic points to, uh, to get you to that ultima spell. Um, dragons are, uh, they, they got it going on. They got a lot to give you. Or they got a lot for you to take. <laughs> I don't know they're going to give it, but... So this is going to be, hopefully, a close race between Jesus the Frog and Gar. Um, Jesus the Frog is already at one of the switches with his party, and he's making his way through. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see what the time difference between the two of these runners is. They you know, that time difference. Switches Sorry, at the same time. Yeah, and you know, like time differences, you know, of like a handful of seconds to a handful of minutes can be made up uh, through the entirety, like at any point in, the, in those, fi those final tiers of Kefka. Um, there are at least, you know, I, I, hear, I hear a lot about how, uh, how tricky, cheeky, how unforgiving uh, tier two can be. Um, in tier three, there's lots of like, uh, there's like HB ba HP balancing, um, uh, there's things like, uh, you have to, you have to keep in mind calmness and whether or not you have protection against that. Uh, and, and even with the final, even with final, final Kefka, you know, if, if you don't, there's, I believe there is a way in like the first round to deal enough damage to take him out of that window where, uh, Kefka will open with Fallen One, which brings all of your party members down to just one single lonely HP. Um, but even so, um, you know, or even like I said, you know, even with like the first tier, uh, that 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 head get, can can get real quaky if you aren't uh, mindful of the order in which uh, you're uh, uh, heading it, taking it, taking it, taking it offline. Absolutely. Um, so tier one long arm can be instant death with break, doom, X zone. 
or Kree. Crusader, Raiden, Odin. Um, I don't think Crusader is instant death, but Crusader hurts oh. everything. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm trolling. A little. Yep, I'm trolling a little bit. Uh, and Maybe then in that. tier two, tools is susceptible to instant death, mm. which is the one in the middle of the formation. Yeah. We just saw Gar here real quick enter. Uh... Hey, is Gar just entering now? Or has, Gar it, is has... in at statues, and Jesus the oh. Frog is already taking on his first battle. It is. Okay, so yeah, we got the budgie, budgie Inferno. Uh, Inferno can be something of a, again, depending on uh, when and where you you come across Inferno, can be really something of a, a dicey situation. I don't think that uh, rings true uh, for um, this iteration, uh, of, or this uh, look alike as, you know, as I say it, and uh, I guess bye-bye number something, 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 128. So right now, Alrighty. as it sits, Jesus the Frog is one battle ahead of I Am Gar. We have a race, folks. We have a race. And, but don't, don't, but still don't count out uh, Organ Dude or Y2SKY. Uh, you know, this, this is still up for anybody, and this is still for anybody to lose. Um, but yeah, as we, as, we, as we had already kind of talked about, touched upon a little bit. Oh, well, okay. You know what, Knuckly Kong? You know you're not. I don't think you, you, you haven't you haven't uh, you haven't found any of your dream team as far as statues. Uh, um, uh, Welk in, isn't in, bad. The only downside yeah. is it's a multi-target, and if you attack the shell, it counters with bolt. Um, so if you have like an offering user, it's not Tomorrow. great because you can't control who they are going to hit. Yep, yep, and that's again, you know, that's one of those like. Um, uh, there's uh, Yumaro is like a real divisive or kind of controversial character, and um, I think that really comes into play or is really you know like kind of like pinpointed or fine pointed uh, here in like the the, the final tiers, and uh, as, well, as also when you run into something like Welk or uh, Number One Two Eight uh, or Inferno or uh, you know any of these bosses that have multiple targets. Um, not having that uh, targeted damage, or even the ability to control your character, um, um, if, it, if it doesn't, if it doesn't, if it's not a dangerous situation, it may still uh, prove to be uh, a dangerous time sink. So, Very true. So it looks like Jesus the Frog did not have calmness protection. I know Gar does. Gar picked up the Fenrir Esper. Um, oh, really? Awesome. Yes. Yeah, Fenrir was yeah. his 10th oh. Esper. That's a nice last Esper to get before, <laughs> before, before climbing this final tower. Uh, so what Fenrir will do is give all of your characters uh, that image status, which I don't know the percentages. It's like um, there's one in, I think it's like 25% chance that a physical attack will hit you. Or no, I forget the percentages. Like It ups your evasion by quite a bit. And then beyond that, there's a 1 in 4 chance, a 25% chance that... Uh, if that attack lands, it will remove that image status, right? Or something like that? I know with the image status, calmness will not kill you. So okay. if it hits you, it'll break your calmness status, but I don't. It, it won't kill you. Oh, awesome. So if you've got that image status up, you cannot be calmed. You are out of control. We not like uh, Umaro, uh, but... Um, uh, and, and, and the reason why that's... Well, maybe I'll hold on to that until we actually get there so we still have something to talk about. <laughs> oh, hey, isn't this Leader? Isn't this one of the... Oh, no, Marshall. Marshall. Leader, Leader-esque, kind of like the, the expensive Leader. Uh, so Marshall, you know, in the, in the, in the, or in the vanilla game, uh, Marshall, Marshall comes accompanied with... I forget if it's by themselves or with two, like, uh, easy, kind of, like, easy, low-level... Uh, beginner enemies because you know it's you you encounter Marshall early on in the game. However, in this uh, at Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide, we like things. Uh, uh, we like a good show, and um, so I believe Marshall in in uh, in any of these seeds or races uh, comes equipped or accompanied by uh, um, a random like like a random 
two uh, buddies. Uh, a randomized Bebop and Rocksteady. Yes. I'm not sure if they're always the same two randomized monsters, or if it can be like one of those and one of these. Um, but nevertheless, it, those two are to some degree randomized. And boy, oh boy, maybe maybe you know that can still be um, that can still when, when, when he comes equipped with like uh, something like a covert or an ogre or something like that. Um, you learn to rue Marshall uh, a little bit a little bit more. Yes. And I believe here was it in Gar's bottom left screen. That was Vargas, or no, that was uh, Daddy. Though what's his name? Daddy Luma. Daddy Luma. I always get mixed up. Is it Daddy Luma or is it Vargas that actually has like the most complex or most tiered like, um, uh, like, uh, kind of like ability set um, compared to other mo like it's something like. Which one is it? Is it is it is it Vargas or is it Dadaluma? Um, that I'm not sure. I know Dadaluma. The fight doesn't last very long. Um, but if you do get him into his like recovery portion, where he uses tonics and potions and safe and shell, and it can take some time. Um, Be a bit of a stinker. I know Vargas can hit you with like a doom fist. Um, and then the bears that he's got with him are not great at higher <laughs> scaling. Um, their, their claw ability does quite a bit of damage if you find them later in the seed. Yeah, claw like bears. You know, I was just watching, I'm rewatching uh, Game of Thrones, and just before, uh, before, just before the stray side, I was watching that scene, uh, like the third or fourth season, where um, Brienne uh, is pitted against a, a bear. So okay. no, no, no Vargas, but definitely a bear. Oh, and here again, so we have tentacles or tentacles that uh, yummy pasta up in the upper right hand, upper right side corner. Um, these, you know, as well as you know, the Stooges have varied weaknesses and strengths. Um, <laughs> they are not coded, color coded, which is uh, a reason, which is, which which uh, is a. Uh, uh, not a cause for applause because um, it does take a little bit of brain space, uh, a, a, a wrinkle or two to remember. Or you could just add, or you could just blue bubble them. But I do believe the bottom left hand one is is susceptible to death magic. Um, I think, yeah. That is unlock for organ dude, and then once Y two Sky gets through this fight, it'll be unlock for him as well. Look at um, this, Jesus the Frog and Gar. Jesus wow, the Frog they're... and Gar is extremely close right now. Yeah. They, this is a true tango. They are, they are, they are step. They are dancing almost in line and sync with each other. Yeah, there's, uh, so... there's like a five or six second difference between them right now. <laughs> Which you know, like we were talking about before, when it comes, uh, that's something uh, that that um, you 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 can potentially lose a lead like that when you have something like fixed ice. Uh, the same could be said that you know having that uh, that power with the dice can also save you a lot of time up against uh, harder enemies. So yeah, as you were saying before, uh, this uh, tier one we have long arm the far left. Uh, we have fist or that balled up little uh, bundle of fingers on the on the right, and then we got the uh, the grumpy looking head at top. Um, long arm is uh, weak to death magic. Uh, the head I believe is weak to fire magic. And uh, I'm not so sure fire. about the 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 fisty one, but um, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, it's that. Oh, we just saw Cleve there on 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 the long arm. I believe it's it's the head that you want to make sure isn't killed last, is not dead last, because that's when that's when your world gets rumbled by uh, by Quake, which uh, is not something that is generally protected against. That is true. Um... The head counters with Quake on death, long arm counters with a big punch on death, and then the fist does not have a death counter, but there is a possibility of him counterattacking when you kill him. And it looks like I am Gar has taken the lead. I am Gar. Or has. Um, uh, look at those quad nines. 
And was that a capture? We got an elixir. So there you go, an elixir. That's something like we were saying, uh, kind of like near the beginning of this race. There are even, even you know, in, the, in these final tiers, um, that's that's one of those abilities that maybe normally isn't you're not so you know chuffed about uh, having, but uh, who knows? You know, like a, an elixir, uh, a mega elixir, mega elixir can really uh, make, if not the difference. Ooh, and Very here true. we have. So that is that is magic that just took a few hits in a row uh, by by Gar. So on the second tier we have four targets. Magic on the far left looks like it's uh, reaching it's reaching out for a can of cola or something something like that. We have the one in the middle which is tools. Uh, the one um, uh, kind of uh, sit, uh, uh, role playing a hat on that tiger. That blue dude, blue Dabadi, is hit, and that tiger is tiger so now magic can be real nasty if you don't have the mute spell or or the siren um esper um you can you uh magic can really um throw a lot of magic at you believe it or not um also something to consider is uh uh that that tiger is uh kind of real nasty with uh like uh status affecting or status ailments things like zombify um i do believe it's susceptible to to stop magic although you don't see it too often uh, that blue Dabadee on top of that uh, tiger's head, uh, who uh, is uh, um, aptly named Hit, uh, will hit you, and upon its death counter, uh, will, uh, will 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 try to hit you ten times. Again, um, really something to take into consideration when you're when you're on these tiers, uh, who you kill first, who you kill last, because in that transition, uh, that tier transition, um, if you lose a character, um, you have lost that character. Uh, and that spot will be uh, filled by one of the uh, other uh, party members that you either did or did not select um, just before entering these tiers. Um, Very so, true. But we have Gar's Gar. Gar right by it. Gar finishing tier two while losing Terra, and Jesus the Frog starting tier two. <laughs> And so this is tier three for Gar. Um, you know, as you just mentioned, who lost Terra, and now we see Cyan. I do not remember what Cyan came equipped with, um, but you're you're always you never want to lose one of those char the one of those four starting characters that you go in with. Um, so this third tier, we have two targets uh, that uh, just head and bust on top. The one that's just getting whacked by uh, Gao now is Sleep. He has nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine hit points and is a white mage. She will heal up both herself and uh, her buddy just below her, uh, who is, wait, girl, no, it's girl, and then sleep is below girl. Um, so if you do not take out uh, girl first, um, then she will just keep, uh, what is it, like pearl winding or curing up or even life twoing. Uh, I guess I'm not sure about life three, uh, that, that um, both herself and or, um, Sleep now. Sleep is the one that 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 calms you down. I think is that just the calmness right there. That was oh the no, Lost murder realm, child was murdered. But Shadow is swinging for the fences. That's Genji Glove offering at my weapon yep. the lowest amount that I saw it hit for was like fifty nine hundred. <laughs> so he is just. <laughs> Uh, I mean, swing, swing away, swing away, Shadow. <laughs> eight times time. six is forty-eight thousand that I'm he did in nothing. one turn, <laughs> which is so. real nasty or or real beautiful, depending on which side of that swing you're on. <laughs> Maybe I you want to talk a little bit about this last tier, Knuckle Kong. Uh, this last tier, you can steal a Mega Elixir from if you <clears throat> right. Uh, 30,000 damage stops the Fallen One from coming out in his first turn. Um, now he is in Goner Charge phase, which when you attack him during this phase, he does not counter. Um, if you attack him not during this phase, he does have the possibility of countering with some big heavy-duty stuff like Ultima. But Gar did not have any issue with that. Um, 
and we are joined in the booth by Mr. Gar himself. Big G-G-G-G heavy duty Gar, stuff how do you like feel about the Ultima? But Gar did Hey, thanks. Have uh, any that was a really good one. Uh, I greatly enjoyed that. Any time that you get to hold two Atma weapons is generally a pretty good seed. <laughs> yeah, your shadow was doing incredible damage. There at the that end. We were trying to add up all the damage, and like I think uh, we arrived somewhere is around like 48,000 a turn uh, here at the end. Um, so, uh, talk a little bit about your race. What were the highlights? What were the low points? Were there any parts where you got Jeez. tilted and uh, soon there at, and then thereafter tilted your table? There was like three. They throwing the controllers or else about it. Well, as soon as Golden Shocker finished six minutes ahead of me, uh, I punched my monitor. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, G- GG's to Golden Shocker, uh, actually finishing first. Uh, I, I I don't think that there was any moment in the seed where I felt frustrated or anything. There was a lot of resets, like a reset out of the Poltergeist. Uh, getting Poltergeist into Doom, uh, that was kind of bad. But, uh, I mean, overall, I think the seed went pretty smoothly. Yeah, absolutely. And it was so much fun to watch. Uh, real quick, anybody out there watching this, uh, uh, all of these racers are very worthwhile uh, following. Um, but uh, real quick, while I got you, where where is your standpoint on Umaro? Were you a bit were you bummed or uh, relieved that there were no Umaros in your run today? Well, I could have used the snow muffler. Gal was uh, he was struggling a little bit. But fortunately, getting him to level like 47, I think at the end, he had enough HP to where he could just tank hits. So uh, Umara would have been whatever. He would have just been parked on the airship, uh, and he would have he would have came into Kefka's tower at the end just to hold the Moogle charm. The anchor. Were there was there anything that you were looking for and never came across in this uh, throughout the race? I don't think so. Uh, I'm really trying to think. Like, I got, I got big sticks. I got like a fixed ice and the Atma weapons. Yep. Uh, you also I, had calmness protection and did not have time to use it. Well, I, I had calmness protection, but the problem was that Terra, it was on Terra, and Terra did not block a single hit. <laughs> and uh, uh, of course, uh, and that's why Hit decided to target her and knock her over. So. Murder child done got murdered. Yeah. Sometimes the, the seed is, is just that way, but uh, like again, Shadow was was really the star of the show there. I was very very happy to just let him take things over. Yep. And and he did it that. Uh, how does this? One one more question for me. I know I'm kind of uh, being being something of a hog here. Um, how does this uh, flag set? Compare. What are your feelings about uh, this one and the just recently finished uh, Warring Triads um, uh, 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 races flag set league? So I, I really did enjoy the Warring Triads event and all of the Warring Triad flag sets. I think that they brought something new and exciting to the table. That being said, I am a sucker for Ultros League. That's where I got <laughs> my start. Way, way, way back in Ultros League One. So. Uh, I will always appreciate that one, and I think that the the changes that are lined up for Season 6, while very minimal, are, I think, ultimately uh, a, a boon to the event as a whole. So, I love Ultras League. I think that it is a fantastic starting point if you are new, and if you're still not comfortable with it, we do have a mentor program. So, we Please, please sign up for that. Yeah. That is going to be. You are one of the mentors in that, aren't you? I sure am. And I would love to help out some new players. Please, please, please send me your VODs. I love doing VOD reviews. I love making people better at the game. Mm. And we love watching you. I don't know if you know this or not. But you were actually about six seconds behind Jesus the Frog starting Final Kafka. Ah. And he (laughs) had very bad luck with Tier 1. 
I was going to say because he has not finished yet, and so he must have had some very unfortunate circumstances. Um, I believe he kept getting hit with uh, polarity. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. And then having to take the extra time to switch everyone back and heal just to get hit with it again. But he is in Final Kefka, Tier 4, um, Goner Charge. So it shouldn't be too much longer before he wraps this up as well. Let's go, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Um, so, uh, Gar, is there anyone that you'd like to shout out? Any... Um, anyone you want to say hey to, or any last, any, any, any other plugs? Oh my gosh. Oh, you have <laughs> just... unleashed. All right. So, first of all, shout out to the Restream crew. I see Drinks Glue, the, the, the main man, dog himself. Uh, I'm assuming that Juicy Loot and Knuckly Kong, both of you were commentating and tracking and restreaming as well in some capacity. Yes. Yep. Yep. So uh, thank you very, very much for that. It is always very appreciated. Shout outs to everybody at home watching our race. I hope that you had a good time watching us get through the seed. And uh, shout outs to dad. My dad's a cool guy. That's all <laughs> yeah, I got to say. Shout out my dad too. Okay, well, I guess on the other uh, flip end of that token, is there any shade you want to throw? Anything nasty you want to say about, you know, Jesus the Frog or your competitors? Absolutely not. What in the world? <laughs> I would never do that. Uh, truly, truly to you. I jest, but it's... Uh, uh, of course. It's only, it's, only, it's only to make a point, really. Well, heck yeah. yeah, man. This has been super fun. Yeah, thank you very much, and shout outs to also to all of my fellow racers. Uh, we had like a lot of people in this one, like 10 or 11. Wow. So, uh, yeah, absolutely phenomenal to get everybody on board on a Saturday night. You love to see it. Or Sunday morning. Eh. All right, <laughs> fine. Sunday morning. <laughs> you who lives in the future. Yep, yep, yep. Uh. Awesome. Well, thanks again, man. Everyone, give give Gar a follow, or at least you know, just uh, make his nose itch with some 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 nice thoughts. Thank you very much, and uh, I hope you all have a good evening. And we'll talk to you later, or good morning, I suppose. Yeah, all Gar, right. Thank you, dude. Cheers. Uh, so off stream, we did have a lot of runners as well. Um, as Gar mentioned, Golden Shocker was the first to complete it. After Gar came in second, Double Down finished in third, and Victa came in fourth. Um, Jesus the Frog is finished, and I believe he is in the booth with us now. Jesus That's the right. Frog, GG's. GG. So, fill us in. What did you like? What did you not like about this seed? Well, I didn't like not having any characters for 45 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, that can be that can be real rough. You know, it's like we've said before, you can do everything right and still not find any of the things you need. Yeah, last location required Kefka Nurses. Pretty rude. I was really upset to not find a character on the top. <laughs> that was very unfortunate. This fight I never did like that. Whenever I decide I'm gonna do it, I'm like five and six or four and six, I need a couple characters. Flake has right there. It's nothing. If I ever skip it, it's like two characters of Jesper. You touched upon a couple of like low points. Were there any high points? Was there at any time where you were doing whatever the opposite of throwing a table over? Yeah, the whole scene felt pretty good to be honest. I think it started off pretty well. Uh, did some fights, got some levels. The first crosses were pretty fast. Uh, a couple were a bit slow, but I got through them. Running into Poltergeist uh, early was a bit rough. Yeah. Um, number 24 using wall change was a bit rude. Fortunately, I did get some damage early. Doom Layer 2, really just missing Goddess would have been full set. And then you would have had the, the, the what's it called, in the, all your Millennium items. Um, was there any, like, uh, were there any items or was there any one thing specifically that you were, uh, 
maybe either 100% or kind of like tangentially looking out for or, or wanting during your race? Yeah, I really wanted any armor. I had a woman armor. A shield I broke on Poltergeist early on. Yep. That's about it. Yep. Yep. Black um, armor really hurt me in Final Kafka. Tier 1 was like 4 minutes, and then Tier 2 was really slow, and then Tier 4 was really slow. I was going in thinking I could get a 120, but it just took way too long to get through those tiers. Yep. And, you know, I'll just real quick say, you know, like... Uh, finishing out at 126 is still just, uh, for me, would be a miracle uh, if I could if I could even approach um, uh, approach that time uh, rounding down. So um, if you haven't already, everybody give give, give Jesus the Frog a follow. Um, uh, and one more question, or well, I guess one of two. Um, well, never mind. Anyway, is there anyone you want to shout out? Any, any anything you want to plug? Um, any final any any other sentiments? Uh, not really, just uh, Ultra Sleek coming soon, April 6th. Science is still open. I encourage everyone who enjoys watching to get into it. It's really pretty easy to get into, and Ultra Sleek is good for all skill levels, so anyone can hop in, try it out. It's a great way to learn. Yep, absolutely. Just don't, 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 be, don't hesitate thinking you're gonna uh, sign up and run into only Jesus the Frogs and only Gars. There's, uh, there are um, uh, levels and racers out there for everybody. Um. That is very true. Ultras League currently has four different divisions. Um, Tonic is the starting division, then Potion, Elixir, and Mega Elixir. So, starting out, you will not be racing against the likes of Jesus the Frog and <laughs> I Am Gar. Uh, yeah. So do not be intimidated to join the league. It's a bunch of fun. And then that's it's been mentioned a couple times already tonight, but the mentoring program is a great thing to take advantage of. Absolutely. Jesus the Frog, how, how long have you been uh, participating in, in the Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide uh, races or uh, universe? Um... I don't really know. I started during Ultra Sleep 4. Or it was okay. just ending, I think. And then I got into Battlegrounds when it started. I've been running for like a month when Battlegrounds started. So less than a year. Uh, I want to say like maybe nine months. Awesome. What's your favorite color? Favorite color? Red. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, good man. How about, uh, what's your standpoint on Umaro? Love him, hate him, uh, or don't think twice about him? I like Umaro. He's a, he can be a liability in certain scenarios, especially in mm. Final Kefka, which is why I don't usually take him all the way. But when you do, yep. it's really satisfying. If I get him early, yep. I like to use him for Coliseum. He's great for early bosses. And honestly, if I don't have much else going on, uh, he can be really good. I, I've taken him more since because I haven't had a good fourth character. And he deals good yeah. damage. Do you have a favorite character or a favorite uh, favorite skill? Favorite skill probably has to be throw. It's yeah. always a good time when you see throw. You're never disappointed to see throw. Uh, favorite yeah. character is really hard to say. I mean, Silly's Realm, Terra, anyone who can wield like a Ragnarok or Atma, has good magic, he generally gets stats. It's easier to say not Cyan or Strago or Shadow. <laughs> I don't like seeing those characters. I like seeing everyone else. Oh. Yeah. I'm mixed on Gogo. I like Gogo. He's good utility. He's very useful. He doesn't really need yep. four main damage healers, and Gogo's great utility. And can be very good early, mm. especially with Fro. But I absolutely hate the zone in your check. It's the second worst check in the game. Uh, it's it's so close. It's Auction House, Zone Eater, and Velt. Those are the worst checks. Yes. Speaking of uh, speaking of that check, that Zone Eater check, I'm actually currently I just recently watched the uh, the most this wonderful movie called Troll Hunter, and for like the past day I've been lazily working on a uh, bridge troll uh, troll hunter movie poster uh, meme. So stay tuned for another couple days, folks. It'll be my first meme. 
I digress. We have Organ Dude up here uh, coming up to the final Kefka. Um, you have any uh, anything you want to say about uh, what Organ Dude's got going on, uh, Jesus the Frog? Well, I haven't really been watching, as you can probably guess. Oh, yes, I've, of course. I've been replacing you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'll take any sub 90 interest rate. It's fine. I feel like it could have been, like, the only reason it wasn't five minutes faster is because I had a really, really rough tier one and tier four. Uh, but with the defense I had, I'm just happy to have gotten through one piece. I did have a question, though. Where do Oregon do find sillies? Uh, okay. So I would have to have done Terra earlier. Epcot Marsh in the Stabbing. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking for size the whole seat because I wanted Magitek on Siam. Yep. That was even something that Drinks Lou was talking about at one point when uh, we were subpostulating or just talking about uh, where we felt the people, everyone was uh, as far as rankings at that point in time. And um, it did seem like there was uh, a, a, a hinge, uh, a hinge with uh, with Sally's or something of a something of a hinge or a crux or whatever the word is. A fulcrum, perhaps. What's that? A fulcrum, perhaps. Fulcrum, there you go, thank you. Thank you. And, you know, that sub-90 is uh, kind of like a, uh, a timestamp that a lot of our uh, racers kind of like judge or base like the, the quality of the races on. Um, just real quick here before we get organ, dude. Uh, Jesus, is there any, and you want to stick around and talk talk about it, or are you um, are you off to bed? I've got nothing else to do, but I don't want to cramp your style. Oh, no, cramp. Cramp, my dude. It needs it. No, I'll just look here and push it, I guess. <laughs> Are we gonna get organ, dude? I'll be real sorry. I don't know anything about how to like. Oh. Yeah. So, what's your um? Uh, do you have a like? Talk about the tears a little bit. Just anything you'd like to talk about the tears, uh, if you don't mind, Jesus the Frog. Um, like, are there uh, uh, what 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 cramps your style in the way? Like when you're when you're when you're tearing, um, and or like what do you uh, what do you what do you really kind of like look out for going into it? The biggest thing for me is that short arm counter and the uh, reverse polarity. Those are the two things I hate seeing more than anything. Yeah, you, can't, you can't go all out with your melee in tier 1, unless you have good defense, because you yeah. you can get one shot by a crit counter. And then the reverse polarity is waste of time. Yeah, speaking of trolls, what a... Boy, that's gotta be amongst, uh, if not the trolliest, uh, trolliest moves. Alrighty, and so we got white 2 sky just moving on to the third tier. Um, doesn't look like they, uh, uh, lost anybody, um, so they're going in with their, uh, original Dream Team here up at, uh, Tier 3. Um, anyone have any, uh, thoughts or, uh, comments, or, uh, what do you, how, how do you think this is gonna pan out, this third tier?
it's actually a really good way to put it, and um, I think it's uh, when, you know, when you when you hit those roadblocks, you can have uh, level head uh, and um, um, bouncing back. Um, because uh, I can't think of another pun for, uh, for for driving is is just uh, is I think I think again all purely as like an audience member or a spectator is kind of like a mark or a qualification of some of these like uh, really high tier racers that we um, uh, that that we're seeing here today. I'm surprised more people didn't seem to go for Terra over Cyan. Sam was not really doing much. She couldn't wield any of the weapon. Couldn't use the red rock. Uh, so I'm surprised people kept it into Project And so you mentioned earlier that uh, you're not uh, on the Cyan biggest biggest fan train. Um, why is that? And um, what 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 um, uh, what 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 do you what turns you off about Cyan? Cyan has some of the best checks in the game. Uh, Siege is fast as grinds you want it. Uh, Dome of Dream, of course, three checks with guaranteed progression. And Mount Zoso's got a dragon, it's nice and fast. Fantastic. But as a character, he can't wear anything good. He's got terrible stats, he's very slow. Uh, so he's just, he's always disappointing. Because you're like, oh, I got Cyan, he's got okay stats. Oh, he can't wear the Ragnarok, or the Atma, or the Illumina, or the Sniper, or the Spinerva, or, or anything, yeah. Oh, I will say I do love the uh, the mustache and the ponytail. Really. Is. <laughs> Alrighty, and here we have uh, uh, Y2SKY at the uh, final and fourth tier, fourth and final. Um, looks like they lost their Gao and have found their Terra uh, going into this. Um, this uh this last stage. It's an off note here. It's an off note. Okay. Yeah. And you even mentioned a little bit. Oh, and we have uh, we have a Kefka down here. You mentioned a little bit uh, before about the utility of Gogo, um, which uh, perhaps is. Um... Oh, maybe no. That was just a gunner. That was just a gunner. Totally down. You know, my internet. Even though I may be in the future, but I think my internet is a little, a little behind. GG. Yeah. You here, Kafka. Not gonna put him behind bars this time. We're just gonna just gonna put him put run into the treasure. Jeez. Uh, just disappointed I didn't get a Celis, otherwise it's pretty solid. Um, <laughs> yep. So I was kind of banking on that Science Magitech, uh, pretty much the whole seed, and I uh, did some decent work, obviously, but, uh, yeah. Would have loved the Tech Missile, that would have sped some things up. And we're joined by Y2Sky, but, GG's my friend. Uh, well, a lot of it was just, uh, it's... I just didn't make the right picks. Uh, I think I reset out of, reset or bailed on three or four different checks just because I, I'm looking for a character. I'm at like four eight. 
<laughs> and required progression was Kefka and Arsh, and I just last locationed it. Yeah, you know, and as we we mentioned a couple of times before during this race, uh, uh, and probably even during those instances, was uh, you, you know, it's sometimes it doesn't matter. You can do the rightest things and still have the wrongest outcomes. Um, it can be uh, really difficult to uh, to watch, you know, when you're at, uh, removed as an audience member. Um, but uh, in, in in light of those instances, or when when those things, when you didn't find what you wanted, or when uh, you got those setbacks. Um, were you, and I'm always curious, were you flipping tables? Were you, uh, were, were you, were you, um, how tilt were you? Or did you remain untilt? Uh, I was actually pretty happy with the run as a and whole. So it, it, it wasn't that bad. Uh, and I think I made up some time for my previous runs being able to just recognize, okay, this is not a check I want to do. Bail out of it. Go, you know, the, it's the just walk out. You can leave meme, right? Um, you know, if it sucks, hit the bricks. And I just did that, and yeah, eventually found my way through. Um, just still kind of, still kind of feeling the game out as far as racing. Uh, I've done a lot of play on Archipelago for the most part, but I'm still trying to figure out the the ins and outs of racing. But it's a super fun game. Um, but you have to do this stuff. On that point, how long how long have you been uh, with uh, Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide? How long have you been participating, or or even just uh, watching, like me? I'm probably only on like month three at this point, so um, pretty early on in the process, uh, especially since a lot of it was just more casual stuff, uh, like multi worlds. Uh, you probably can. If you played Treasure Sandy with me on Archipelago, you can probably tell that I'm like trying to get the muscle memory sorted out because I'll go certain ways and I'm like, wait a minute, I don't need to loot this. I've looted 70 chests already. I have at my weapon offering. I'm good, right? I don't need to go this way. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think I think restraint is probably uh, like the restraint of you and uh, other like similarly similarly like tiered or skilled uh, racers is like knowing uh, knowing when to and knowing when not to. Um, from you know what I gather from what I hear uh, other other racers talk about is is uh, one of is, is a very difficult thing to do. Um, yeah. I uh, sure thing. Um, I think the site name is Archipelago.gg. I'm not mistaken. Let's go there and check it out. Um, we have a multi-world. Oh, we have run an async multi-world actually on our Discord, uh, which I've been a part of a couple times, and it's a it's a good group of folks. So uh, that's a great place to kind of dip your toes in the water, so to speak, because you're not under the pressure of a live multi-world where people are expecting you to kind of hurry up and get your checks in. So yeah, if you're interested in that sort of thing, and you're uh, interested in and playing randomizers with other people simultaneously uh, that you're not racing against since co-op, then give it a, give it a look-see. Have you taken advantage of... Uh, yeah, absolutely. And have you ta have you taken advantage of, like, um, uh, like any, like, mentorships, or um, is there any, has there, are there any uh, other racer, racers that have uh, kind of, like, been in the wind, wind beneath your wings in these last three months? Uh, if, uh, if watching Possumorpheus and Honeydew's Twitch streams count, then sure. Absolutely. Otherwise, no, I haven't jumped on that yet. <laughs> absolutely does. That absolutely does. Uh, right on, man. Is there anyone that you want to, like, uh, care to shout out? Any, uh, or any, um, final thoughts or plugs you care to make? Uh, no, nah, just uh, appreciate all y'all putting this on. Uh, this has been a fun game to get into. Um, I cut my randomizer teeth on Link to the Past and Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise, and this has been just a a whole new world of fun. So, um, thanks for hosting such a great game, and I'm looking forward to doing more of these. We are. We are uh, I'm. Uh, we're glad to have you, and it's been an amazing race. Anyone who hasn't uh, followed uh, uh, Y2SKY already, um, it would be a worthwhile thing to do. To do. So, yeah, thanks, dude.